So it's February 2022 and you're trying to fix the two biggest issues with your Fire Stick, storage and Wi-Fi performance issues. Well, in this video today, let me show you a simple trick that you can do on your Fire Stick Max, on your Fire Stick Lite, or even the second generation Fire TV Cube, which will instantly give you loads more storage and it will also give you a solid Ethernet connection. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so here we have the new Fire Stick light and into that I've plugged in a standard OTG cable. Now this OTG cable gives us a full size USB port and in that USB port I've plugged in this Ugreen multifunction hub and the reason why it's multifunction is we have three USB 3 ports and we have a single gigabit ethernet port. Now this port is plugged into my gigabit switch which we can just see at the back there. So this really will give you a much more consistent, or should I say reliable connection versus using Wi-Fi on your Fire Stick Lite or really any of those Amazon devices. Now for us to expand the storage, we can really use any USB drive or really any drive that can get enough power from these USB ports. So here, for example, I have a two terabyte Samsung drive, which is actually a USB three drive. But just in the interest of time, I'm going to use this smaller USB 3 drive. So let's now just plug that in and we should then see a prompt on our Fire Stick asking us to format that drive. The only requirement we have is, is just make sure this drive is already formatted as FAT32. This is just so that the Fire Stick can read it. And as soon as it can read it, it can then format this drive ready for us to use it on our Fire Stick light. So let's now plug that in. And do we get any notification? Yes, we do. So straight away, the Fire Stick is telling us that it can read the format of this USB drive, but it's asking you, how do you want to use it? Do you want to use it as device storage, which is like internal storage, or do you want to use it as external storage? Now in our example, because I want to install applications to it, I want to download content onto it, I'm going to format this as device storage. So let's click on that. And this is just something that I really wish they bring over to the 4K Fire Stick because as you guys know, the only way we can get this kind of storage on the 4K Fire Stick is using manual ADB commands and all that stuff. Whereas with the Fire Stick Lite, because it is running Android 9, these features, these options are actually built into the operating system. So let's now click on device storage. Let's click on yes, because we do want to format that drive. And that will then format that drive so we can now start installing applications to it. And that's the message we want to see that our USB drive is now formatted and ready for us to install applications to. Okay, so everything is now plugged in. Let's firstly download an application through Downloader. And lastly, let's move an application which was already on my internal storage over to our USB drive. Let's just quickly find a quick thing to download. And let's just download Remote ADB Shell scroll down and click on this green download button and let's see where this application gets installed to that's now all done let's now press the home key let's go over to settings go to applications go to manage install applications and there we see it guys so that icon next to the remote adb shell just confirms that this application is now in fact installed to our USB drive. And here we can see some of the other things I installed before, just to confirm that the process was working successfully. Okay, so downloading applications through Downloader, they will actually install directly to the USB drive. Now, when it comes to moving applications to your USB drive, the process is very simple, but it really does depend if the application actually supports that move process. So. Here, for example, we can see the Explorer application, which is a great file manager, both for the Fire Sticks and also the Android TV devices. If I click on that, we can see I have this very nice option, move to USB drive. So I can click on that. This will now move that 25 meg application from my internal storage, 
where space is very limited over to that USB drive. But as I said before, the slight issue is not all applications are supported. This application, when I press back, has that USB icon next to it, which again means that it's now running from my USB drive. Now, if you can't find the move option in your application, then in many cases, if you just uninstall it whilst your USB drive is plugged in, then when you go through the installation procedure again, it will automatically default to your USB drive. Remember, we are now using a wired connection and typically a wired connection will always give you a more reliable, consistent connection compared to wireless. Because when you are using wireless, you have to take into account factors like how far your device is from the router or router, how many obstructions or walls or, you know, how many things are in the way, because all of those things will actually affect your signal or your connection. Let's do a speed test over Wi-Fi. Okay, so test number one, we're getting around about 100 and 139 meg downstream. So test number one, 139 meg downstream and 30 meg up. And there we can just see on the top left, I'm doing this over five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Let's do test number two. So test number two, we have 136 meg downstream and the final test on Wi-Fi. You can just see guys, it is, uh, it is just uh, very inconsistent when you are doing this over wireless. And this is one of the key things or one of the key benefits that when you do use a wired connection, you do get that more consistent, reliable performance. Okay, so test number three was 144 meg. Let's now plug in that ethernet cable. Okay, so ethernet plugged in. Let's now open up the speed test. And there you can see on the top left, it is detecting a wired ethernet connection. And we're getting closer to 200 meg. Okay, so test number one, we have 193 meg downstream on wired. Let's do test number two. Okay, so test number two, we're getting around about 219. And the final test, and the last test we get 219 meg downstream. So I think it's quite clear that we can see a wide connection does give you typically better performance and a more stable connection. But we'll just add that disclaimer that it's not going to be a one shoe fits all. So if your Fire Stick is very close to the router, then you may actually get better speed using wireless compared to let's say 100 meg ethernet. So it is worth testing out, but typically you do get more consistent speeds when using a wire compared to wireless. Okay, let's back out for that. And also where it says show all applications, if I click on that. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag Amazon, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And of course, moving something from USB back to internal storage, I can just uh, click on something, click on move to internal storage. And within one click, the application is now moved back to internal storage. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Storage and Wi-Fi or connectivity issues really is one of the biggest issues with these devices. I'm hoping that with the steps you saw in this video, you can hopefully fix those issues. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. I really am trying my best to get this new channel to 10,000 subscribers. So if you can help out by liking and sharing and subscribing, it really is appreciated. So many thanks for your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.